Greg Orr. My title is Battalion Chief of Missoula, Omar. Okay, Greg, so tell me about this uh, this wildfire we had here so early in the season. What's What happened? Well, we got a call this afternoon uh, for a, a fire up Grand Creek, and, and when we got there, we, we did indeed have a, a wildland fire that was creeping up a pretty steep hill, uh, some pretty heavy duff and heavy brush, and, uh, you know, we, we got a quick jump on it uh, with some help from City Fire, and uh, ultimately um, the Forest Service, which it ended up being actually on their ground, uh, it ended up being a Forest Service fire, but... With the quick work of the guys, they were able to get ahead of it and uh, get up and pinch it off before it got too far up into the trees. And we held it at about an acre, and our, we still got four service crews up there currently putting out hot spots. Now, what was it? Was it human cause? Somebody tries just trying to tr- burn some slash, or do we know that yet? Yeah, it was. It, it was a. It was a fire that got away from a homeowner. So in a situation, an, acc- an accidental fire, you know. Sure. So in a situation like that. Uh, is the homeowner liable in any way, or, or the, the, as long as they call you uh, with plenty of time to get the thing put out? You know, that that ultimately, I guess, would be up to the Forest Service. However, you know, it's it's uh, it's kind of the nature of of the beast, if you will. Um, you know, we get a lot of these, and and we tend to show up and put them out, and and typically the homeowners, uh, uh, you know, they're a little bit. Humbled already, so we don't want to. We don't want to heap on anymore. Well, now tell me, what, what are the conditions like out there? I, I as I drive around and uh, go walking, it just looks awfully dry out there already. Well, I mean, as, as everybody can see, we've had beautiful weather. Uh, unfortunately, that weather has uh, dried out quite a bit of the the Missoula area. So it's fairly dry out there, and on a sunny day, a little bit of wind. You know, it's it's pretty easy for someone that's not paying attention to. To get in trouble. If so, you know. so any, any advice for folks who maybe have got a burning permit and, uh, and and want to give some slash burn? Yeah, you bet. Yeah, you know, and, and truly, this is a good time of the year to do it. Uh, we just started giving out permits on March first. They're easy to get. Jump online, and uh, for five bucks, you can grab one. If you don't have a computer, come down to the firehouse. But as far as safety goes, just make sure that you know you've you've got folks there that can help you. Uh, make sure that the piles that you burn or whatever you're burning is manageable, and make sure you got some good hand tools and, and water, and you know, you just and, and watch the weather as well. Of course, wind is you know a huge contributing factor to a lot of these fires. So if it gets windy, put it out. If it's windy, don't start it. And uh, and and by all means, if the fire does get out of control, please don't hesitate. Call nine one one and get fire crews rolling immediately so we can. We can jump on it and keep it from getting too big.